Hi all, Renee here. Um, today I am going to put together the True Love Deluxe Scrapbooking Workshop. This consists of three single pages, one two page layout, and then a um, half page flip flap. So this should be pretty fun. I've already gone ahead and done all of my cutting and my die cutting and my stamping. Um, a couple things that come in the kit that are really fun is you do get this die and this is called get it it is called the lace border die um, I don't believe it is available any longer separately I think we did sell out of them but they still have them for the kits um, so there is that and it's a pretty good size I mean you could also make use it for card making I really like that you can cut it and then you can make it into four scallops it's very very useful then this also uses our new color of sequins called rose gold they're just they're really pretty I don't know if the color is going to come across very well on the camera, but they are really pretty, so we're going to use those. Um, it uh, also comes with a stamp set, and this is the stamp set. Let me put something behind it so you can see a little better. There we go. Um, so this is the stamp set. It doesn't use all of the stamps, and I can see a lot of these stamps being really, really nice for um, additional scrapbook pages. Um, also for home decor, you could do some frames and use some of these around. You can also stamp these directly on your photographs if you're doing pocket scrapbooking and you would just use stays on ink and um, just make sure you let it dry completely before you touch it and it'll work great. Um, stays on is hard to get off your stamps um, but there is a special cleaner. Um, you can buy the cleaner on my shop or find it, you know, it stays on cleaner. So it's sold all kinds of places. So that's what the stamp set looks like. So I'm going to go ahead, um, get started and I'll turn on some music and I'll be back at the end. Enjoy.
Okay, all done. So I really like how this one turned out. I made a few mistakes and I noticed them while I was making it. So on the instructions, it has this particular paper going up and down rather than across, but I don't think it makes a difference. So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, you'll see that you use one of these die cuts and you cut it in half and put it on each side. I really like that. Um, so I think this one turned out really cute. I might put some um, sparkle on these hearts to kind of pop them out a little bit and maybe a little bit of liquid glass on this to make it shine for the center of the flower. But I think otherwise I'm going to leave it the way it is. I think it turned out good. Okay, so here's the second one. Um, these are the journaling strips that go down here. I'm going to wait, like I always do, and see if I have enough, if I need them all when I tell my story. Um, <clears throat> I really like how this one turned out as well. I like this design with two pieces for a mat. Um, that's a really neat idea. I'll probably use that again. Um, but I think this turned out well. This turned out really good as well. And these are supposed to be two single pages, but I think they may all almost work as a side by side because this ties them together along with these guys. We'll see. Um, we'll see how I end up putting them in my book. Um, it may also be that I end up using these as like a wall decoration um, in a 12 by 12 frame. Here's the next um, single page, and I really like this idea right here with the multi-layer on the angles. I think that would look really nice shrunk down and put on a card as well. So I may reuse this idea. And um, I really like how this one came out too. And I like those pops of yellow. I didn't think I would, um, but I'm really liking them. Okay, and then this was the last layout. This is a double page. Um, so it will look like this. I kind of feel like this one is missing a title. Um, so I might do something with this one and create a title for maybe down here or up here. Um, it does have a title on the second page, but it's covered up by a flip flap. So you don't see it until you flip the flap open. Um, but I do like this size flip flap. I've never used this one before. Um, this is a six by 12. And um, I really, I think I really like that. It's like creating, oops, sorry about that. It's creating half of a, of a page and um, I really like how it turned out. Um, you will see on this one, I forgot to stamp that one. Um, it also called for sugar plum, which I don't have, so I use blossom just to show you. You can use whatever you have. Um, once I started stamping it, I realized I didn't give it enough pressure and so it wasn't even. So then I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna cover the whole thing with the color that it calls for and then I'll just cut it myself. It worked out fine. Um, so there we go. And isn't it Bob Ross who said there's no um, no mistakes, just happy accidents, or no accidents, happy mistakes, whatever. So it was a happy mistake. And so there is that. And I love this. I don't know if you can read it from here. It says, my whole world for my whole life. I really like that. That's one of the um, zip stripped tops. And I have so many of these. You'll see that what I did was I used the lid of my stamp scrubber to hold my... Um, sequins and it made it really nice because then I could see them against that black background. So I highly recommend if you're struggling with what to do with sequins to so you can go through them. That's a good idea. Double duty on that little guy. So I think that is everything I have for this. If you have any questions, um, you want to know anything more about this particular kit, um, this kit is available while supplies last through the end of August. Um, and again, like I said, the die cut is no longer available individually, but it is still in the kit. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll think about subscribing and I uh, hope to see you again later. Thanks. Bye-bye.